Well, she's a beauty. Oh my gosh. It's just weird. It reminds me of like a door to enter an amusement park. Yeah, it does. You guys gonna go in without me or what? No, we're just oh, getting no, here. What's up, Jeffrey? Yeah, how are it's you? It's very windy. It is. It's cold out. It is. We got a lockbox car. Oh my what? God, what are you doing? Dude. Jeez. Are you okay? <laughs> Good thing oh you got that big puffy jacket on. Let me tell on. you about Jeez, that. It's, it's like a parachute. That it just saved me. Three bedroom, two and a half bath. It's about 2,500 square feet. The biggest problem here, I talked to the owner. He said there is foundation issues. So oh. we got to look around. One dark house. A lot uh, of trash. You failed to mention that it's like a hoarder zone. OMG, this is disgusting. But wait a minute. This is a first. I don't smell anything. Oh, there you go. Go in. No, 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 Let's no, no, check no. it out. You weren't kidding with foundation issues. Oh, wow. Crack. Look, it's cracked there. It's cracked there. Look at the whole way up the stairs. Look at that. Oh, yeah, it's awful. All right, so we have a decent sized kitchen. The problem is the ceilings are low. Right. And well, then, this should be able to be raised, too, because it looks like it's just like a soffit to do that drop lighting. So, what do you think it would cost to raise the ceilings and just like completely gut this kitchen? 12 to 13. There hey, you go. The, guy, the guy didn't tell me there was a pool here. Oh my god, it's like separated from the concrete. I mean, it's completely pulling away out here. And the plaster has some kind of cracking in it. It doesn't look too bad. To replaster the pool is gonna cost us six, maybe seven thousand dollars. You're gonna have to completely take this cover down too. But okay, imagine all this cleared up. It has nice views, it has like a nice, nice vibes here. Like, it could be a really nice yard. Yo, look at that carpet. Okay, good news. I don't know if anyone's realizing what's going on, but we're standing in a loft. We can make this a bedroom. Oh. All we have to do is add a closet, close up the opening, and we have a four bedroom, two nap bath house. All right, what do you got over there? Come see for yourself. Wow, do you guys feel this on the floor right, right here? Right there, right? Right in here. The whole thing is sloping this way. Uh oh. This is probably one of the worst houses we've seen when it comes to structural. Ew. We have water damage everywhere. Look. Mm. Let's just... You guys are looking at about 115. Yikes. Yeah, okay. okay. Does that include foundation issues? Nothing structural. We've got to get the foundation company in here to take a look at that. Right, which could be 10,000, could be 100,000. What do you want to do? If we can get an expert out here tomorrow to check the foundation, we should. If not, there's no way we're buying this house. This house scares the crap out of it. I can get someone out tomorrow. All sure. right, Jeff, lock mm -hmm. it up. <laughs> All right, see you guys. I'm all finished. All right. All right, do you have great news, good news, or bad news? Oh, man. This house is down almost five inches. Jeez. Okay. Oh, this is bad. Yeah. Five inches, it might not sound like a huge problem, but as far as foundations go, even an inch and a half of movement is considered severe. This house has sunk more than three times that. But we'll be able to get full recovery. What do you think it's gonna cost? It's probably gonna be about 75 grand. What? This is 10 times riskier than any normal flip, mm -hmm. so there should be a benefit to us, right? So we should make money for flipping the house, and I feel like we should get a little bit of extra money because we're doing way more work than anybody else would be doing. Mm -hmm. So he wants 650. I don't so. think anyone else is gonna be jumping to buy this house, so I feel like you can offer much lower. I don't know, five and a quarter? I mean, it's way under, but. Yeah, but look at this place. It's falling over. All right. Let me know. I will. After some negotiations, we settled at 550,000 for the house. Saving a hundred grand off the list price is really gonna help cover the cost of the massive foundation problems. Plus, the layout and the large ensuite here will definitely attract buyers. But with the house in this condition, it's still really scary because we never know what we're gonna uncover. Jeffrey! Yo. Is that water, Jeff? Yeah. Ugh. Oh my god. You see it just running down the wall? All that. Yeah. This is a big problem. I'm gonna need to get somebody up there and see how bad is this roof. Okay. Can we at least start on demo while we're waiting? Yeah, we could do that. Woo! 
So you remember the last time we were here, I mean, rain was just coming through that yeah, room. Yeah, I mean, like the, house, the house was being flooded. Yeah, it, I mean, was, it was terrible. So, so what I had my buddy do is he grabbed the drone and flew it up there to see what was going on. I don't want to put anybody on the roof because with how bad that's coming through. There, there isn't even a roof at all. It's a sheeting. There's nothing. And even the sheeting's missing right here. We've got a tile on the front, and that's it. All right, well, how much is it going to cost? 18000 this house is a mess. Dude, I don't even know if I'll make money on this. You didn't want the patio cover, right? <laughs> no. Just when we thought we tackled the worst issue with this house, Jeff got the final word from the engineers on how to fix the pool. Everything from this wall is pulling downhill. Like, it feels... Yeah, we're to... Oh, yeah. geez. OK, so how do we fix that? What the engineer is saying is putting a bunch of piers under this thing Retaining walls back here and pushing all the soil back up, eighty to a hundred thousand dollars. What? We cannot afford another hit like this, especially after spending a hundred thousand dollars to fix the foundation, the roof, and the entry. Not to mention, we still have to cover the regular costs of the remodel. How much is it to just get rid of this pool? I would say somewhere between ten and fifteen thousand. We That's still have to, to add the, the concrete. We have to add the irrigation. We have to add the grass. I, I hate even saying this. Let's just spend the 15 grand, get rid of the pool, fill in dirt, start with a clean slate. Okay. Wow, that's some of the worst that's news ever. That's bad news, Jeff. What do you think about this kitchen? It looks so much better. And this backsplash, so pretty. You want to talk about the fireplace? Sure. I like the chevron, so I was thinking this. Ooh, that's fancy. You can hold it, it's really heavy. That is a huge tile. <gasps> Look how nicely it's going to match with the kitchen. When the light hits it, you can actually see the rippling in the tile. Mm -hmm. You can see texture. You can see some movement. So totally. Should we do this in the bedroom, too? OK, that'll be pretty. OK, done. All right, so we got to talk about the Mission Viejo house. You know, we've owned that house for seven months. Yeah, and like everything that could have gone wrong went wrong. We spent 247000 Oh. So we paid five fifty dollars for the house, put about 250000 into it, puts us at eight hundred. dollars 30,000 closing costs and commission, 830, staging 835. We're into this house for almost $300,000? Yes. We are so lucky the market saved us. The last seven months, it has been kind of wild. It's almost a blessing in disguise, but the prices have actually gone up. Right now, we have a house, same model, nowhere near as nice, asking 975. Is there a pool? It does have a pool. Oh. I feel like we can push it and, and, and come in maybe at like 979. I think that's like, that's. Pretty fair. If we get anywhere near list price, we did get. It's looking super cute. Paint colors look nice. I love the front door. It looks super modern. Moving the door from here to here and doing the new door, I think, came out really, really nice. Yeah, this area like sets the precedence for like a cool modern vibe, which yeah. it definitely did not have before. Welcome home. So clean and bright and modern. And the right. kitchen is the wow factor. Oh, this looks good. Look at the backsplash. I love it. I'm really glad we went with the gray cabinets. Buyers are going to love this kitchen. My favorite part, though, is actually the fireplace. I like how we kind of did a throwback to the old Chevron, but an yeah. updated version. You know, we took out that pool, but at least we have a good sized yard. It feels a lot bigger than it, it did before. Remember the patio covers that were falling over? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I wish it had a pool, but... <sighs> no pool. It's still nice. This was the loft, right? Yeah, I remember there was, like, this was open. We added the closet. Still a nice size bedroom. Yeah. This is cute. Brayden would love this room. Totally. This is a nice little bedroom. Looks so nice. Oh, that looks great. This is a nice design. It's perfect for this area. It's timeless. 
All right, remember what a hot mess this room oh, was? Oh, I do. Now I like how it has like two separate areas. Same fireplace design that I love. <laughs> it's actually pretty nice. And the bathroom design looks perfect. It's nice. I yeah, love the picket tiles. I love the shower pan. This is my favorite part of the shower, actually. Well, we spent a ton of money here. Let's sell this thing. Taking on this flip ended up being a huge risk. Thankfully, all the money we poured into this remodel paid off. We're currently in escrow at $1,075,000.